Never Hike in the Snow is the sequel to the 2017 fan film Never Hike Alone, directed by Vincent DeSanti. There's honestly no negatives about this film. It's an independent project that the crew clearly had a lot of love for, and it shows. Now on to the spoilers. This is the second time I've seen it in one night, so I've had more time to adjust to what I saw and give more thought to it. The camera quality is perfect, as well as the cast. The only problem is you don't have a lot of time to spend with them. The cast of characters are developed very well, and for such a short runtime of only 25 minutes, they've done a damn good job. And the director and actor of the film, Vincent DeSanti, who also portrays Jason, he really brought a lot of mannerisms and special qualities to the character and his two films. Both films have Tom Matthews in it, reprising his role as Tommy Jarvis from Part 6. I just think he's not given enough to do, especially for an actor coming from the original franchise. I thought it was a bit of a missed opportunity to use him to his full potential and even making the film longer. I really do love this movie and I think it's extremely well made. And thanks to the fans forking out money for the project to help them build it. So Tommy Jarvis has become the crazy Ralph, which makes sense seeing that all he's been through. He's doomed. The practical effects are nothing short of amazing. Which brings me to my favorite scene between Jason and his mother. Showing him without his mask as a child, reminiscing back to his past. It was actually pretty touching. And the echo effect they used for Pamela's voice. It was really ghost-like, which I really liked that effect. And that they cast someone younger to play Pamela, which was new and interesting. I also really love the end where the candles blow out at Jason's shrine for his mother. That's kind of like she's helping him out from the beyond the grave. It was also really nice to see Jason have quite the variety of weapons instead of going to his standard machete because Jason can use anything to his advantage. He's the MacGyver of serial killers. And then before you know it, it's over, which it's just when you start to get into it. But any horror fan or Friday the 13th fan will love this film because it's made by other fans. Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, if you'd like to see more Jason, feel free to check out my fan film. The link's in the description below.